All right, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Google just released Gemini Advanced, which like all the sources say is better than GPT-4, which might be a huge moment in the history of AI. And to access Gemini Advanced, you actually don't even have to pay. It's free for the first two months. So I'm going to sign up right now. Okay, so let's see. With our most capable model, Ultra 1.0. So this is the language model that's supposedly better at GPT-4 at almost everything. State-of-the-art performance, designed for highly complex tasks. Okay, available soon Gemini in Gmail. This will save a lot of time. Docs. This is a massive advantage that Google has, distribution. So obviously OpenAI doesn't have access to this. And personally, I use Google Docs all the time. I use Gmail, obviously. So this would save me a lot of time. And especially if the language model is actually better than GPT-4, you know, the best language model from ChatGPT, then like a lot of people will stop paying for ChatGPT+. 549 check crowns, which is $23. So... It's a little bit more expensive than ChatGPT+, which is $20. We'll see. And also, we don't see how many... What's the message cap? That's also important. But let's try it out. I can't wait. Hello, David. How can I help you today? Oh my god, the UI is nice. Okay, so let's test it out. First, I'm going to use this prompt to test how creative it is, specifically for creative writing. And I'm going to use the exact same prompt into GPT-4. So let's see who gives a better answer. GPT-4 started generating right away. And Gemini is still thinking, maybe because they have a huge demand. This, yeah, okay, so Gemini is done faster, even though it took longer to start. That's very interesting. I would say both are probably similar length, but let's test out code generation, because that's something I'm going to be using a lot. So this prompt will s show us which language model is better at code generation. I mean, personally, I think the creative writing, they're probably they're both the same. I mean, if you want to read this, if some of you are, you know, professional authors, you can read it and tell me which one is better. Okay, so we got nice um, color formatting. Let's see. Generate Python code for a basic to-do list application with add, delete, and list functionalities. Use code with caution. Okay, that's funny. This is actually a confirmation that GPT-4 is lazier than Gemini Advanced because, as you can see, it included actual logic for, you know, using the to-do list like giving you the instructions and then uh, if else statements, while ChatGPT only created the class and then did an example usage. So I would say this is a win for Gemini Ultra. And actually, we can look here. This is the official release of Gemini Ultra. And here, if we scroll down, we have a comparison against GPT-4. So MMLU, this is like the main test, what every LLM is tested against. We see Gemini Ultra beating GPT-4 by quite a lot. I mean, 3.6% is a lot. Okay, so this one is worse. Common sense reasoning for everyday tasks. Okay, so we can actually test those. We can test some of those prompts later. I wonder, maybe it's because of the data set. <laughs> like, maybe Google's data set doesn't have as much common sense. You know, maybe that says something about us, people who use Google products. Code. Oh, human eval Python code generation. So this is what we have right now. We have Python. The, you know, the benchmarks agree with my judgment that Gemini Pro, oh, I mean Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro is in the free version. So it's kind of weird that it switches like this, but I guess it's the same as here, right? You know? Yeah, I guess this is the same UI. Just copied OpenAI, why not? Okay, so yeah, I obviously have Gemini Advanced selected. I mean, I'm going to be testing this super, super in-depth over the coming days. Obviously, I use AI every day. So if you want to see like a more, if you want to see an advanced tutorial for uh, Gemini Advanced, <laughs> it's kind of funny, then let me know in the comments and I'll for sure make it because right now I just, you know, I'm so excited to just test it out. So yeah, um, if you're going to ask it code-related questions that have been solved before, it's going to be especially better than GPT-4, but if it's uh, something new, then it's probably going to be slightly better. But okay, let's test out language translation. But if you're wondering where I'm getting these prompts, <laughs> it's <laughs> from GPT-4. So maybe GPT-4 has a secret advantage when it generated the prompts, but it's a different chat, so it has no idea. Okay. Wait a second. Summarize the main points of the article titled The Future of Renewable Energy in 2000 Words. Gemini Advanced fails. I'm a text-based AI, and that is outside of my capabilities. While GPT-4 just proceeds, so it gives some kind of warning, you know, disclaimer, but then it gives a summary of the article. Also, before, you know, when Gemini was named Bart, I mean, I should have said that. Gemini is basically Bart. Okay, so it fails. Before, it had this issue that it didn't really, like, have good awareness of the other 
you know, other messages you send, it kind of lost track very, very quickly compared to ChatGPT, especially. So we'll see if that's this, uh, the case, but wow. So on translation, Gemini has failed terribly. I mean, it just didn't do anything. Let's see sentiment analysis. And this should be pretty easy for both, I think. Overwhelmingly negative, okay, yeah. Negative, yeah, so. Let's do question answering. What are the implications of quantum computing for data security? GPT-4 is much slower. Maybe this is like Google flexing their money, you know, their compute power over OpenAI. But OpenAI has like much more usage. But then again, Gemini Advanced, I assume, is like getting flooded right now, especially given that they give out the two month free trial, which is like, it's just like perfectly positioned to, you know, a dethrone OpenAI. Okay, I actually like the formatting, just, you know, visual formatting, obviously that's not indicative of the answer. I like Gemini uh, Advanced better because ChatGPT is kind of harder to read. You know, there's some nice uh, padding margins over here. Okay, so let's see. Quantum computing has profound implications. Breaking current cri cryptography. Okay, that's the most important. I agree. Uh, okay, so like it's kind of the same. But okay, one thing I should really compare is like the web browsing capabilities. List out five important AI news from the last 48 hours. I'm going to give the same prompt to GPT-4. And let's see. Okay, doing research with Bing. Ooh, that's disappointing. Okay, so op OpenAI actually did browse the web, but Gemini Advanced. M maybe I should have looked into this more. But does Gemini Advanced? Um, oh, the multimodal capabilities. I need to test that. I need to test that. Okay, but does Gemini Ultra have? access to the web because if not that's kind of it's kind of cringe uh yes but there's some clarifications search the web for important ai news from the last week maybe maybe this is better let's see i mean chat already succeeded like here are five uh, important ai news and we have the sources obviously so what is this source tech target again it failed I cannot directly search the web in real time. Why? <laughs> you are Google's product. You should be able to do this. Okay, but multimodal capabilities. Okay, generate an image of a, of a green flying cat. Let's see. Can even, like, did they add the image generation or no? Because that's like one of the things. What? Are you joking? Gemini Ultra was supposed to be like this multimodal thing that could do anything. You cannot generate images. Wow, that's disappointing. I mean, obviously, you know, ChatGPT can do that. Here we have a beautiful flying green cat by Dali Free. No, it can't generate images. Wow. Wow. I found this an example for AI image recognition. So let's see. Um, so let's see, what is this? I'm going to do a super vague prompt on purpose. Can Gemini even like recognize images? I mean, why? I don't understand why Google disabled so many of the capabilities. W wow, okay. I'm unable to identify the mushrooms in the image you sent for certain. Blah, 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 blah. It is never safe to consume any wild mushrooms. What? Un <laughs> what? Unless you have had it definitively identified by qualified experts. Okay, so I guess what we do here in Czech Republic, like go mushroom hunting, is super dangerous, according to Gemini. I mean, can we at least get a guess out of Gemini? I mean, it's, it's amazing that it's, you know, better at everything than GPT-V. I mean, GPT-4, it doesn't matter. But if it doesn't have the capabilities, gave us a politically correct answer. I mean, this is the problem, right, of like big companies like Google. It's like, they're so safe. They're so passive. They're going to have so many restrictions on the AI. Like, this is why we need open source models that are unrestricted because like, I, I just don't want some random engineer in San Francisco in Google, like choosing what I can and cannot ask. Like, this isn't even some dangerous question. I'm just asking it to identify an image of mushrooms. It could be gen genuinely helpful if I'm in the middle of a forest. Okay, ChatGPT is lagged. Let's refresh. Okay, so uh, that's maybe one benefit of Gemini. It doesn't have as many errors and, you know, lags as ChatGPT. 
but obviously we'll see this is still very early comparison and OpenAI has you know, advantage in terms of more months of development, but Google has massive advantage in terms of budgets and better data sets, but it seems like they just restricted everything. So what is the point of having smarter language models if they cannot do anything? Okay, so let's see. I am in the forest. This could save my life. Give me your best guess. Let's let's see if we can trick it. Uh, obviously, Gemini will not do anything like that. It's like super restricted. Okay, simulate a conversation. This should text uh, dialogue simulation. Simulate a conversation between a patient and a doctor. Discuss. Oh, wait. That's nice. You can just click on it and edit it. That's much better UI than in ChatGPT where you have to click this icon. So nice. We have a UI change. We can do cancel and update. That's very nice. Okay, this is kind of long conversation. It seems like Gemini Advanced is much more verbose than GPT-4. Let's see. We can just do this. And with, wait, maybe we do explain. This is a meme, obviously. Okay, sure, I can explain the image you sent. Now, keep in mind that Gemini Ultra should be way better. Wait, here. Way better than GPT Vision at image recognition, like in everything, you know, and a lot better. So let's see. The image shows a picture of a hamburger that is mostly bun with a very small meat patty in the middle. I mean, <laughs> is it trolling? The text overlaid on the image says the bun to chicken ratio is, oh my God. I think this is a recalling from training data actually. The meat's exaggerated size, what? GPT-4 smokes Gemini Advanced. That's insane. And it also like correctly read the text, which Gemini just made up. Why is GPT-4 winning so far? I mean, everything, like obviously this is from Google, so they're gonna make it look good, but I don't know, man, I'm not impressed just yet. I mean, the code was better, so maybe for code generation, it could be huge. But like, what is going on? Okay, let's let's try one more image. Should be an easier one, honestly. Oh, damn, this is crazy. Gemini is so restricted. Wow. Wow, man. I can't wait for, like, I can't wait for Llama 3. Like, open source is the way. This is crazy. This is just making my mind even clearer. The coin is United States Penny, also known as a one cent coin, then on the coin 2005. My first impressions of Gemini Advanced, disappointing to say the least. I mean, again, if you want me to make a more in-depth advanced tutorial on Gemini Ultra, I will for sure do that. But man, JGBD is still the king.